What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, bringing you some more Nintendo news, but I ain't a news channel though. Anyways, I have an article here that was sent to me by Awesome Brown, which apparently details Sakurai speaking about new modes in Smash 3. Yes, and we knew. Um, not just new modes, but uh, new everything. And as we saw from the last DLC update patch, there's a lot of stuff that can be added to this game, including costumes for the Mii, new characters, stages, you know. So I mean, with all that taken into consideration, there's a lot that we can look forward to in the future, but it seems like Sakurai confirmed it in this news article, which will be linked in the description below. So it so it says new Super Smash Bros. DLC modes planned. Says Sakurai. This came out on the 23rd, so I'm a little bit late to the punch as usual. But let's see what this contains, regardless. So in his latest column for Japanese gaming magazine Famitsu, and if you don't know, Famitsu is like a weekly column where Sakurai sometimes occasionally gives like thoughts about what he thinks about certain things in Smash and whatnot. Anyways, um, Super Smash creator Masahiro Sakurai revealed that his team's plans for downloadable content to include new Smash Bros. DLC modes and online features. Now, as of late, I know a lot of you guys have seen those articles where Sakurai speaks very negatively about DLC practices these days, where they sell people an incomplete game and they release the packs, so to speak, as DLC later on as an excuse to make more money. So I mean, you know, Sakurai is very strongly opinionated in that fact, but it seems like he's really down for giving true authentic DLC in Smash 3DS and Wii U these days. So. Sakurai's comments translated by Source Gaming discuss how he wants to maintain excitement. Yo, Sakurai! Sakurai? Daddy Sakurai is a man after my heart. Because goddamn, man, does this dude know how to keep excitement flowing? The hype train already stopped in Mewtwo Station, but we're still moving forward here. Granted, we probably won't have any DLC character hype as big as how Mewtwo got, because, you know, Mewtwo being announced was an announcement basically for DLC coming. So that was part of the reason why the Mewtwo hype was so great. So, you know, now, we know characters can be added, so it won't be as big of a surprise, but there can still be some really weird names dropped, such as Ryu in the roster, that could be potentially possible. This kind of stuff maintains excitement. So, um, was, so Sakurai discussed that he wants to maintain excitement with Smash for Wii U and 3DS beyond the recent release of Mewtwo. Yeah, so everything I just said, Sakurai just said it himself. His plan involves additional DLC characters and game content, including new bro, um, Smash Bros. DLC modes. So not even just stages, characters, and costumes, but modes to be added to the game as well too. But this is very possible because he added the DLC shop. Given the different types of content we're producing, it wouldn't be surprising for the develop for the planning of one item to coincide with the development ba ba balancing and finalization of several others. We also have version updates, online features, and additional modes to worry about. It can be quite overwhelming, but it's all about making the players happy. Daddy Sakurai. He got, like one minute he's speaking about how difficult it is and how he feels like he wants to quit. And then the next minute he's talking about how, oh, well, you know, I want to work my ass off even more. In the past, Sakurai said he had no plans for paid DLC after the game's release. Bullshit! Remember that? <laughs> Remember that bullshit? The first batch included Mewtwo in the Mii Fighter outfits and released last week, while the DLC character Lucas is playing for June. In his column, Sakurai made sure to emphasize that the new DLC for his games is different from what he called the DLC scams pulled by publishers who separately sell content that could have been in the game at launch. Instead, all DLC for Smash began development after the release of the games, and Nintendo is currently seeking fan input on whether what new sorry, Nintendo is currently seeking fan input regarding what new DLC characters to add to the roster and open an online ballot, which I did not vote for, by the way, because the ballot ends in October for us in America. So what's the rush, in my opinion? Um, files found within the latest software update for the game. Um, files found in the latest software update for the game. However, suggest that Ryu from Street Fighter and Roy from Fire Emblem may already be in development. The Ryu thing, I would love to get some follow-up, and the Roy thing, apparently Sakurai's going to make an appearance at a Fire Emblem music concert or something along those lines. I'll probably report on that later on, but it is reason to get excited because this basically might be something that advocates for Roy being in Smash Bros. And I ain't talking about Roy Koopaling Roy, I'm talking about Roy Fire Emblem Roy. So I mean, the future will tell, that's all I can say. And with Ryu, who God only knows why the hell his files exist in Smash Brothers, but you know what, it's still reason to be excited, and it shows that maybe there's some plans for crazy um, third-party characters to be in the game once more. Um, we got Pac-Man. Uh, why wouldn't Ryu work, you know? I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.